It is truly an honor to be here and to be part of this historic binational journey for peace. I work for the Drug Policy Alliance, the leading organization in the United States calling for an end to this failed drug war and a proud ally and supporter of the Caravan for Peace with Justice and Dignity. For all U.S. citizens of conscience, we are so sorry for the role that our government has played in the pain and suffering that you have faced. So we are here today because we know that drug prohibition has failed and we're calling on both the U.S. and the Mexican governments to urgently explore alternatives to prohibition and to put all options on the table for a new solution and that includes different ways for regulating drugs so we can put violent traffickers out of business. The problems we are together confronting are very, very large, but they are not nearly as large as are your hearts. Your courage humbles me, your leadership inspires me, and your friendship honors me. Thank you for making this journey, for honoring us with your visit, and for leading us on this important and historic step forward towards justice, towards dignity, and towards peace. My organization and all of our members and supporters around the United States will be with the Caravan for Peace with Justice and Dignity and the Movement for Peace with Justice and Dignity every step of the way. There's a new sheriff in town and a bunch of deputies and we're ending the drug war. How you doing? What's this about? It's cops say legalized drugs. That's us. Yeah. Legalize drugs, regulate them, control them, stop the black market in the war on drugs. Here in the U.S. Were, were you a deputy well, that's under a big uh, Chief Gates or, or what? And, and yes, here in the U.S. Neil Franklin. And I come to this place after being one of the strongest supporters of our oppressive policies of prohibition. I am now on the other side of that fence. I am now on the other side of that war. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, like many of you, my journey began from an act of violence. This devastating policy, this very destructive policy, the most destructive social policy since slavery. The tens of thousands of people that we put in prison in this country. I'm ashamed to be one of those who is responsible for that. I am ashamed. I am ashamed to have been supporting policy that has been devastating your country. Apologize. And for those in this country who, for whatever reason, don't see it due to ignorance or because they just refuse to see it. No matter how they feel about it, I apologize for them too. But enough is enough. One of the things that I've noticed is that when I first started this walk, is that two significant voices were missing from changing this policy. Voices from the black community and voices from the Latino community. Thank you for bringing your voices to this fight. Thank you. I thank, I thank the NAACP. I thank the NAACP for stepping up to the plate and for vowing to end the drug war. The voices of blacks in the United States are absolutely critical to ending this policy, and I thank them for that. And I want to close with this. 
compadre Javier, mucho, mucho gracias. into what is a foreign land. 27 cities, 30 days, telling your stories. Your stories will be told, echoed by many people. The members of law enforcement against prohibition have already begun to echo your stories of pain and suffering. And we will continue to do that until we end this.